Hello. Something interesting is happening on Vatsim UK. Starting from the 7th of September, they're going to be trialling radio frequencies on the 8.33 kilohertz intervals. There's a post about it in the forum, which I'll link to in the description. For this trial, it's going to be limited to en route frequencies, Heathrow, Edinburgh, Stansted and Liverpool controllers. And it means that the frequencies will change. But more importantly, it means the radio that you're using on the network needs to be able to tune to 8.33 intervals. In X-Plane 12, I think the uh, 530 and 430 units are fine. Let's try tuning in to one of these new frequencies. We're looking for 118705. So, if it was still on the 25 kilohertz um, system, you'd only be able to tune to 700, not 705. So that's fine. That works okay. Yeah, and the 430 as well. And in the 1000 unit here, we can get the 705 so 1000 is fine so let's have a look at Microsoft this is the default uh, Cessna 152 yeah that lets us get the 705 as well as the 700 so that's fine And the 1000 unit, I think, is fine. Um, just from default, there's there's no mods in this. This is just all default equipment. So that gives 705. But with the 530 and the 430 units in Microsoft, uh, I wasn't able to tune to these new frequencies. So it's going up in 25 increments. So this is unmodified, this is just the default one that's in the sim which incorporates the working title um, changes. So I was a bit, bit confused by that uh, but a friend told me I just had to change a setting. So in uh, this section here use the large knob to scroll till you get to auxiliary and then use the small knob to scroll forward. It's the third position in the 530 and the fourth page in the 430 and there's this COM configuration. So get the cursor up, scroll to COM configuration and press enter. and you get the option to change the channel spacing here so use the small knob to get to where you want get down to 8.33 press enter and then I'm not sure if you have to actually use the knob to come out of that but just then scroll back get rid of your cursor by pressing the knob scroll backwards to your normal functions and now you should be able to get so we're looking for 118705 yeah that's doing small increments now Good, so that's fine. And I think once you make that change, it stays remembered next time you boot up the sim, but I haven't tested that for sure yet. And in the G2 helicopter, um, I couldn't change to the smaller increments 
when I first tested it, but after I had gone in and changed the setting for the 530, I was then able to. So I guess it uses part of the same um, same system in the background. In the Bell 407 helicopter, I had the same issue, although the uh, 530, um, we've now got it set up. Uh, this little unit here with the LED lights, I couldn't get uh, 8.33 spacing until I'd made the change up here and that's now allowed me to set the smaller increments on this radio. In FSX though it's uh, an unhappy story so the radios here uh, we only see two di decimal digits um, displayed and when you try and change the readout that you get says that it's moving in 25 steps, not 8.33. Uh, but there is a workaround that you can do for this. Um, so I guess this would also apply if you have maybe a hardware radio that doesn't give you the option of using 8.33 in intervals. And this works in vPilot and xPilot. I don't know about Swift. Uh, so there are dot commands which you can read about in the vPilot manual. But if you type dot com one and then the frequency that you want, 118705 and press enter. And it tunes it at the top there. So irrespective of what it says in your simulator, this is what vPilot will use. Similarly, you can tune in your second radio and that's changed there. Okay, good luck. Thanks for watching. Bye.